Art Deco Theaters of Manila are theaters constructed in the 1930s to 1950s built in Art Deco style, or a similar branch of the style like Streamline Moderna, in the Philippines. The construction of these early theaters in the city of Manila provided the venue for early forms of entertainment like Bodabil, a local adaptation of vaudeville, with most eventually converting to movie theaters with the growth and popularity of Philippine cinema in the metropolis. Several theaters built within the city of Manila were designed by prominent Philippine architects, including future national artists Juan Nicpil and Pablo Antonio. Unfortunately, some of these theaters have since been closed and several of them demolished. Performing Arts Theaters Ateneo Auditorium This theater was located at the former Ateneo campus in Ermita. Manila Metropolitan Theater The Manila Metropolitan Theater is located on Padre Burgos Street, Ermita District adjacent to the Mihan Garden. The theater was built in 1931 with an Art Deco design by architects Juan M. Arellano and Otilio Arellano and could accommodate as many as 1,670 people. The theater is endowed with bronze sculptures depicting female performers designed by Francesco Ricardo Monti, a stained glass mural mounted above the main audience entrance, and relief woodcarvings of Philippine plants found in the interior lobby made by Isabello Tampinco. The theater was restored in 1978, but was again closed in 1996 due to lack support from the public and local officials. Its east wing is now used as an office space for government services. St. Cecilia's Hall St. Cecilia's Hall is located at St. Scholastica's College Manila. U.P. University Theater This theater was located on Taft Avenue. Movie Theaters Avenue Theater Another architectural work by Juan Nicpil is the Avenue Theater. Located along Rizal Avenue in Santa Cruz District, the theater had a 1,000 seating capacity, with its lobby bearing a marble finish flooring. At one point, the building housed a hotel and also served as office space. In 2006, it was demolished to make way for a parking lot, as realty costs were too expensive for it to be maintained. As of 2013, this site is occupied by Paddy's Point, behind to it is a parking lot. Bellevue Theater the Bellevue Theater is one of a few classic Philippine theaters built in the 1930s still running today. It is located on Pedro Gil Street, formerly Heron, in Paco District and has a total seating capacity of 600. The theater features a neo mudajar theme, and contains a Quonset hut design, and other classic ornamentation. The theater is not currently operational and a general merchandise store occupies its first floor. As of 2013, this site is occupied by Novo Jeans and T-Shirt. Capital Theater Situated in Escolta Street in Binondo, the Capital Theater was designed by Juan Nicpil, and built in 1935. With the strong presence of symmetry, geometric shapes, and the occasional presence of graceful curves, the design is strongly identified with the Art Deco visual arts design style which was very popular during the 1930s. Facade The most prominent elements of the facade are the reliefs of two Filipina muses done by Francesco Ricardo Monti. Symmetrically installed, the two Filipina muses are explicitly portrayed in native garb or traje de mestizas, evoking contrast between their rural representation and urbanized location. Further contrast can be found in the details of their skirts, where strong lines and soft curves are juxtaposed to depict the pleats of their turno. Both muses carry symbols strongly associated with the performing arts, the left muse carries a mask, associated with theater arts, while the right muse carries a lyre, associated with music. The bottom of both reliefs are images of film and film reels, likewise executed symmetrically. The presence of these elements are in line with the establishment's purpose as a cinema, and consistent with the Art Deco style which heavily favors bold geometric shapes. 
Concrete letters spelling the word capital once adorned the top of the structure, but only the letters I and T are left. Additional Art Deco elements can be found in the strong geometric details of the top corners and the central iron grills which marries both straight and curved lines. Interiors The double balcony theater had a total of 800 seats and was among Manila's air-conditioned theaters. Its lobby was adorned with a mural called, Rising Philippines, created by Victorio C. E. Dades, Carlos V. Francisco, and Gallo B. Ocampo. Damage and decay It was ultimately the deterioration of the theater business in Manila that led to the stoppage of Capital Theater's operations as a cinema. The construction of the Manila LRT Line 1 and the extensive delays prompted moviegoers to prefer newly opened air-conditioned malls with newer cinemas. Cine Oro This movie house was located at Plaza Santa Cruz, C 19th photo. Ever Theater The Ever Theater is located along Rizal Avenue in Santa Cruz District. The theater was also designed by Juan Nick Pill and has a single-screen cinema with an 800 seating capacity. It was also visited by Walter Gropius during its inauguration in the 1950s, praising the theater's outstanding qualities. Currently closed as a theater, it now serves the public as a commercial arcade. As of 2013, this site is occupied by Astrotel, a hotel. Gaiety Theater The Gaiety Theater was located on M. H. Del Pilar Street in the Ermita District in the city of Manila. It was designed in the Art Deco style in 1935 by Juan McPill. As of 2014, it is dilapidated with several families living inside as caretakers. It was demolished in 2016. Grand Theater This movie house was on Rizal Avenue. Ideal Theater The Ideal Theater was located at Rizal Avenue in Santa Cruz District and designed by the late architect Pablo Antonio in 1933. The theater was demolished in the late 1970s to give way to the construction of a department store. The Ideal Theater was one of the first major works of Pablo Antonio along with the buildings of Far Eastern University and Manila Polo Club. Life Theater Lyric Theater This movie house was at 81A Skolta, Fernando. An American, Frank Goulet, acquired this theater in 1916 and reopened it in 1917. In 1929 it was a 1,400-seat theater, with no air conditioning, and was considered to be the only first-class movie house in town. This second version of the theater had been designed by Fernando de la Cantera. It was reconstructed, the third time, as a deco building with the largest air conditioning installation among Manila theaters, by Pablo Antonio and reopened on 1 June 1937. In 1939, the Lyric was one of six movie houses in Manila which were considered to be the most presentable and modernized sort, each of which seated about 1,200 patrons, 1-2. One, Radio Theater In August 1929 this movie house was the first to show a sound film in the Philippines, which was the American movie Syncopation. Rex Theater this movie house was on Salazar Street, Fernando, 3. Scala Theater Another theater designed by Pablo Antonio was the Scala Theater, also on Avenida Rizal in Santa Cruz. With its floors paced with tea rose marble and its curved wall lined with glass blocks, the theater's magnificence did not last, it was closed in the 1990s. The theater catered to up to 600 people for its single-screen operations. As of 2013, the theater is now closed though the building structures still remain, albeit in a dire condition. State Theater Another work of the late architect Juan McPill, the State Theater was on Rizal Avenue, Santa Cruz. Built in the 1930s with an Art Deco design, the theater was eventually closed in the 1990s, and was demolished in 2001. 
As of 2013, this site is occupied by Emerald Circle, a mini mall. Times Theater the Times Theater, currently found along Quezon Boulevard, Quiapo, was designed by architect Luis Z. Araneta. It was erected in 1939, with an Art Moderna relief. Unmaintained today, the theater is still operational, and can accommodate 800 people with its single-screen operations. Tivoli Theater This movie house was located at Plaza Santa Cruz, 4. Metro Manila Benper Theater, Quezon City. This 1960s-style building on Roosevelt Avenue has Art Deco features. Cine Concepcion, Malabon, 5 Morosi Theater, Pase. This theater on Taft Avenue was demolished in 2016. 6 See also Architecture of the Philippines Cinema of the Philippines List of theaters and concert halls in Manila List of cinemas in Manila References <laughs>